It's my Parmesan fried onion. To start, I'm gonna chop off the top of an onion. And this is a large yellow onion. I'll place it cut side down, that way it's stable. And then I'm gonna envision that this onion is the face of a clock. I wanna make cuts in each of the hours, about a half inch from that center root so that it all stays together when I fry it. So I'll start at 12. You get a little emotional. Gorgeous. That was the hardest part. I'll turn it over and gently separate the petals. Oh yeah, this one's really good. I've got my dry ingredients mixed up already. It's just flour, Parmesan, paprika, garlic, salt, and pepper. And for my wet ingredients, I'll start with two eggs. I'm so excited to eat this. And four cloves of garlic. This onion has big personality and big flavor. A cup of milk and salt and pepper. I'm not gonna hold back with the salt. It's a big onion. And I'll mix it up. I'll dunk it into the dry mixture and then the wet mixture and then the dry again. And those three dunks together will create this breading all over these onion petals to make it completely irresistible. I'll flip it over and kind of separate the petals while I sprinkle this dry mixture all over to make sure that it gets in all of these layers. Deep, deep, deep. I'll transfer it to the wet mixture. You have to handle this like the delicate flour that it is. I'll flip it over and make sure that it's fully coated. And then back into the dry mixture and the wet and the dry together create this batter that encases these petals. Okie doke. My onion is ready for the fryer. I have a few inches of oil heating here to 360 degrees. And I always like frying in cast iron because it holds the heat really nicely. All right, this part's really fun. This is when the onion blooms. This is gonna fry for three to four minutes on each side until it's golden. This is basically a gigantic onion ring. And I happen to be going through an onion ring phase in my life right now, so I am gonna destroy this. I'm gonna very gently flip this, and I'll let this go for another few minutes while I grab my garnishes. I've got some grated parm that I'm gonna sprinkle on top once it's out of the fryer. Some mayo for dipping, because the only thing better than a fried food is a fried food dipped in mayo. And then I'll chop up some fresh parsley. This will be nice and pretty on top. I think she's ready to come out. Oh, this looks awesome. I'll take a bouquet of these flowers any day. I'll place it on my wire rack so that any excess oil can drip off. While it's still hot, I'll sprinkle it with salt and pepper. <laughs> I'll transfer it right to my plate. I'll cover it with a storm of Parmesan, a sprinkling of parsley. The parsley kind of just makes it. My mayo on the side. No one is gonna know if I taste it immediately while it's super hot and crispy. Here I go. I wish I had more thumbs to give it like six thumbs up. 